And now I'm going to run it. See how we're doing on the time. Five minutes so far. Now guys, don't worry that my Excel spreadsheets take so long to import. It's only because I need to speed up my virtual machine. I need to mess around with the settings and speed that up. Usually it's much faster. But you can see how the, oh wow, it closes all the browsers. That's not cool. Okay. Great. So, unfortunately, it closed our Firefox browser and it closed our timer. So, I didn't account for that, but I can say that it was six minutes because I'm sitting here and looking at our screen capture software and it was about six minutes that this script took. And also, we, would, we were at five minutes when we started running it, right? And so we can go in to our print log and we can see here that after we started running it, that it took an extra 69 seconds. So remember we were at 501 when I started running it, plus 69 seconds, right? That's it. Uh, six minutes and 10 seconds. Not exactly fully official, but it's pretty close. So let me close this and add it here. Six minutes and 10 seconds for me to add a test to a spreadsheet and get it running. The test-driven framework. Let's see what that time takes. And I'll actually do this better this time. Okay, so this time I'm actually just going to start the timer behind my virtual machine so that it won't be affected. So let me clean up. And we're going to do the same thing for the test-driven framework, which you guys haven't quite seen yet, but you'll get to see it. It's really, really great. Let me close this. We have our test section, just like we did for the other one. And so now we can begin. I'm going to close this. Here's our timer. And I'm going to start it, okay? Three, two, one. Go back here, open up our driver script, and first thing is first is that spreadsheet actually. Open up the test suite spreadsheet. You guys can see this one is actually a little bit smaller, but what will be surprising is how it has more test cases. And as these grow in number, the discrepancy between these will change a lot, and that will impact performance significantly. So the test-driven framework has a test case at the top. I'll just reuse it, but of course I'll retype everything. And then execute flag, set it to Y. And this, this framework only has one spreadsheet. And that's it, done here. Save this, close this up. Now I'm going to go here and into tests and open this up and set this up with my function call. Now the reason that I get to reuse this here is because I already had it set up for all the other test cases. That's the cool thing, they get this skeleton. Anyways, I'll mention more about that later. I'm still gonna do the save as and I'll discuss the specifics after. I don't want to impede because I'm not very good at multitasking. I'm much better at concentrating. Okay, fantastic. Let me do that. And now 